I can net zero plus AC coupled with grid tied inverters. Some consumers have previously installed solar panels and grid tied inverters. With the recent advancements in energy storage technology, these consumers now have the need to incorporate additional energy storage devices without disrupting the existing ones. The AC coupled feature of the ICANN Net Zero Plus system offers the ideal solution for this particular situation. Compatible with a wide range of inverters available on the market and boasts a straightforward installation process. It is recommended to incorporate tubing to conceal the wires connecting the solar panel, inverter, and sub panel. This will prevent any exposed wires and add a neat finish to the installation. In typical scenarios, the Net Zero Plus system and all connected loads can be powered directly from the grid. Insert the L1, N1, L2, into the grid port. Connect the PV inverter to the sub-panel. Insert the L1, N1, L2, into the load port. AC coupling with a grid-tied PV inverter installation is finished, offering a quick and straightforward setup. Now, the external PV inverter can supply power to all loads connected to the sub-panel. While delivering power to the loads, the system effectively utilizes any excess solar-generated energy to charge the Net Zero Plus battery, facilitating efficient energy storage for backup purposes. When the batteries of Net Zero Plus are fully charged, the extra power can be fed back to the grid to earn credit. Operating in net metering mode, in scenarios where solar panel energy production is unavailable, such as during cloudy weather or nighttime, and the Net Zero Plus battery is discharged. The system seamlessly switches to grid power, ensuring uninterrupted operation of both the Net Zero Plus system and the connected load. The micro-inverters are also fully compatible for AC coupling with the Net Zero Plus system. Danger, do not connect the Net Zero Plus to the generator directly when AC coupled enabled. When AC coupled is enabled, generators cannot be used as an energy source as it may cause reverse power and result in damage to the generator. On grid coupling. Assume that the pre-installed PV inverters are generating a total of 6 kilowatts of power, while the loads behind the subpanel are drawing 3.22 kilowatts of power. In the event that the batteries are not fully charged, the Net Zero Plus system intelligently utilizes the surplus power to charge its batteries. In this example for a negative value shown in the connected load display, is due to the extra energy production from a customer's pre-installed inverters. Also, the system is in net metering mode and the extra power will charge the Net Zero Plus. The minimum power generated by the external PV inverters for this example, would be the negative sum of the utility and connected. The battery is being charged automatically, based on the backflow rate. When the battery is fully charged, by external grid tie inverters connected to the load side of the ICANN Net Zero Plus that is running in net metering mode. As long as the utility grid stays powered and connected. Any extra energy generated by the grid tied inverters that is not used by the customer's load, will flow through the Net Zero Plus and into the grid. In this case, there is 2.8 kilowatt of extra energy, which is sent back to the grid when the battery is fully charged. Note, the value of the grid should be the very close as the value shown in the house icon at the bottom. A slight difference may occur between these two values due to variations in sampling and app refresh times. Note, for efficient energy flow monitoring and control through the Net Zero app, it is recommended to connect the PV inverter to the sub-panel which subsequently connects to the load port of Net Zero.
because any loads connected directly behind the meter and upstream of the net zero plus input measuring would not be detectable. Those loads connected to the sub panel of the net zero plus are detectable. In the settings menu, navigate to AC coupled control and enable it by clicking on the button in the top right corner. For non-CA Rule 21 grid support inverters, it is recommended to maintain the cutoff frequency at 65 Hz. Off-grid coupling In off-grid or grid-disrupted scenarios, the AC-coupled PV inverter can continue to generate power to charge the battery and support the loads. When the battery is fully charged and the load is lower than the PV production, Net Zero Plus may keep the frequency higher to prevent grid tied inverter from producing energy at full capacity, or automatically shut down the inverter. Set the starting soak to 90%. This will allow Net Zero Plus to return the frequency to 60 Hz once the battery soak falls below 90%, enabling the grid tied inverter to resume production. Set the stopping soak to 95%. This will allow Net Zero Plus to automatically adjust the frequency to reduce the output of the grid-tied PV inverter once the battery reaches 95% or more. Net Zero Plus will typically maintain the frequency above 62.5 Hz in order to balance the supply from the grid-tied inverters with the demand on the sub-panel. AC plus DC coupling. Directly connected PV panels to Net Zero Plus can wake up the battery even after it is completely depleted the night before. Net Zero Plus will charge from its directly connected PV panel first. Note, the maximum charging rate can never exceed 13 kWdc. In the example here, directly connected PV contributes 1.27 kW. The grid tied inverter, minus the local demand, contributes 1.7 kW. Current battery charging power, 427.5 volt multiply 6.8 ampere, equal 2907 watt. Current battery charging power minus power from the direct PV panels, which is DC coupled, equal AC couple power. Note, the conversion efficiency is higher. 